applicants attach her. Applicants, stand at ease. How are we doing today? Good, yes, sir. Are you in the hospital? Are you excited? Yes, yes sir. sir. Scared? No, no sir. sir. You shouldn't be. This is a really exciting moment, all right? For you, I will let you know that not many people are doing what you're doing right now. Yes, there are a lot of other individuals out there choosing to enlist, but not everyone's capable and not everyone's willing. So thank you for what it is you're about to do. Before we go further, I want to have you welcome with a loud round of applause all those individuals who wanted to be here right now but aren't. So think about your recruiters, your family members, your loved ones, significant others, and friends, and let's give them a round of applause by way of Facebook. Please join me. Even more than those individuals, we are here because you decided to raise your right hands and do something as much greater than just yourselves. And I thank you for that. Despite your individual reasons for joining, you all have great purpose. Some of those individual reasons may be because of financial purposes, educational pursuits, or maybe you simply wanted to get away. But I will tell you that on a much larger scale, that you will contribute to protecting and preserving the rights and liberties of everyone who lives in this country. And if you truly think about that for a second, that's everyone that you know and individuals that you will never meet in your lifetime. They will all be recipients of what it is you're getting ready to do. That says a lot about you and what you're about. Thank you for being bold and thank you for being courageous because your actions are going to preserve and protect the rights and liberties for not only your family members and your friends and your associates, but for mine as well. So thank you. Also, I highly encourage that you invest in yourselves and you invest in others around you. As you go to your training installations, as you deploy people that opportunity to do so, and as you join your organizations, do not forget to invest into yourselves and others as well. Because I guarantee you, as life hits and it happens, as adversity comes, or as you have, you're having fun, it's always better served when you have invested in others, or you have people around you. And if you genuinely do that, I guarantee you that when you face hardships, or if, I want to say, you know, you, if you face hardships or adversity, then guess what? You're gonna have someone there to watch out for your backs, and you'll be able to reciprocate that and watch out for them as well. And when you're having fun, whatever they may look like to you, then guess what? Those same individuals that you've invested in will watch out for you, and you will be able to watch out for them as well. And these are relationships that won't cease as soon as you transfer or transition from one location to another. These are ones that will carry on throughout ones that will carry on throughout your lifetimes. These are now people that you can call family members, people that you've grown to love and people that you will know until the day that you leave this earth. So genuinely invest into them. And my last and final point, shape your perspectives. The mind is a powerful thing. And I am telling you, if you wake up and you dress yourselves with negativity, then you'll probably find it. But if you wake up and you overcome the obstacles that have been placed before you, you continue to challenge yourself, be better versions of who it is you already are, and you challenge yourselves to not only grow, but challenge others that are around you not to compare yourself against others, right? Because they have their limitations and they know what their aspirations are. They know what their ceiling is. You know what your aspirations are. You know what your limitations are. And you know what your ceiling is. And when you do that, you truly evolve into a leader like none other. Very distinguished, very distinctive, very unique in an individual at, at, at most. So congratulations in what it is you're about to do. I guarantee you it is fun if you allow it to be, but it's also honorable. So thank you, but always remember one, to remember the why behind what you're doing, the purpose, the reason for starting this process to begin with. Secondly, remember to invest into yourselves and others. And last, remember to always shape your perspectives and have fun doing it. Yep? Yes, yes sir. sir. Awesome. All right, before we continue, there's a couple of questions I must ask. First. 
Are there any doubts, reservations, or restrictions about joining the armed forces today? No, no sir. And have you been briefed on the Department of Defense separations policy to include Articles 104A, 85, and 86? Yes, yes sir. sir. Next, I will call you to the position of attention, tell you to raise your right hands, and repeat after me. At that point, I will say I, state your full name, do solemnly swear. If you elect to affirm, you may omit the phrase, so be God, at the end. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are there any questions at this time? No, no, no sir. sir. Are you ready to swear in? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you sure? Yes, yes sir. sir. Awesome. Applicants, attention. Or raise your right hands and repeat after me. I, state your full name. I, 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 do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear. swear that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, against all enemies, against, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey, and that I will obey the orders, the orders of the President of the United States, of the President of the United States, and the orders. And the orders of the officers appointed over me, of the officers appointed over me, according to regulations, according to regulations, and the uniform code of military justice, and the uniform code of military justice. So let me God. So let me God. Drop your hands. Stand at ease. All right, let's give yourselves a round of applause. And congratulations on the journey which you're about to embark upon. It's truly a great one if you allow yourself to see it that way. When you go next door, sign your contracts, I'll let you go. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alphabets, attention.